So last night I went back to the hostel, then had dinner there again, and then I went up to the terrace here because they got this nice rooftop terrace here at the hostel. Joey's Hostel it's called by the way, Joey's Hostel New Delhi. And then um, sat over there with some Dutch guys and um, a girl from France and a girl from Germany. And we played a maybe not 100% politically correct game called Secret Hitler, where it's about Nazis planning to overthrow the government and liberals trying to stop them. So kind of weird playing that as a German with Dutch people, but it was good fun. And then we played like a dice game with the Dutch and yeah, it was all good. It was just a typical hostel situation where there's like one pretty girl or two pretty girls and 12 guys. And then all the guys trying to get the attention of the girl. It's just a sausage fest. And uh, that's really something that's kind of like annoying at hostels, especially if you're single and you would like to meet a cute girl, you're gonna have to fight with like 12 other guys for her attention. And that's just really annoying. The best strategy there is just to meet her first. So be the first guy to talk to her when she checks in. So of course you can make that happen by hanging out at the reception and then talk to her first and get to know her, build rapport and then maybe try to get her out of the hostel and do some activities together. And that's a much smarter way to meet and seduce a girl in a hostel rather than just showing up to the party like I did last night and then um, trying to get her attention when there's already five or six other guys competing for attention. So yeah, that was not so ideal. Nonetheless, we had fun playing the game and yeah, now I'm gonna move to the hotel where the tour is supposed to start tonight and I'll check in there. For tonight I might be able to arrange a date with a Tinder girl um, that I matched yesterday. So and so far Tinder here is a little below my expectations really. I, I thought it would be much much easier that I would get many more matches um, considering it's a city of 20 million people and I'm pretty exotic here. I was hoping for many more matches than I actually got but it's still okay. I got maybe like 15 or so yesterday and the message with a few like got about four numbers or five numbers and yeah now I'm messaging with those girls and I'll try to set up a date for tonight because tonight there's no activity planned uh, from the tool. Yes, uh, to the Hotel Grand Park Inn. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, something really unexpected happened when I went to the hotel to check into the hotel and get the information about the tour. The guy at the reception told me that there was like a new law or something by the government which uh, required the hotels in the area to make improvements to the safety standards. So the government shut down all the hotels in the area and uh, so they got us a replacement hotel here which is in a really remote suburb of Delhi, one hour outside which really sucks because I'm really far away now from the city center and also uh, far away from the girls that I had a match with yesterday on Tinder. So I'm really kind of in this really remote location now. Maybe you can see it a little bit in the background. Uh, pretty far away from the center. Um, I went for, for lunch first. Um, it was really good for like about three dollars, two euros. I got like a complete lunch with lots of different vegetable curries and uh, rice and uh, naan bread and a big bottle of water and then I took a, a taxi that was organized by the G Adventures organization which kind of runs this tour and took the taxi here it took an hour okay, we were going around in circles a few times and I tried to help him on Google Maps and then it didn't work and he had to ask for directions it took us so long to get here but now we finally arrived and the good news is that this place here this hotel where I'm staying uh, it's called Bloom and has decent internet so that's the good news I was able to have like a pretty good Skype call with uh, my, my uh, employee in the Philippines. So that was good, I did that for about an hour and now I'm gonna go down, it's about 6 p.m. now. I'm gonna go down to get the briefing of the tour of what will happen next and how the next few days are gonna go. So maybe I can film there a little bit. See you downstairs. Yeah, so we just finished dinner. So I met the other participants of the group and it's about 12 people total. 
Uh, almost all of them are from the UK, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why. And for dinner, I had a chicken tikka masala. I was just curious to see if there's like a difference between uh, the way we get it in an Indian restaurant in Germany and the way to do it here. But I must say <laughs> that in Germany, you've had much better chicken tikka masalas than I had here. And I also got a sweet lassi, which was uh, really delicious. So yeah, food so far has been really good here in India. And yeah, I got a little bit of deli belly, which is something the tourists usually <laughs> get here apparently. So you get like a little bit of digestion problems. It's not too bad luckily, but what the guide said that yeah, it's because uh, the hygiene just isn't quite as good here as in the Western world. So it's kind of normal and to be expected and we shouldn't worry about it. All right, so my roommate still hasn't arrived, the, the Swedish or Scandinavian guy. Um, we'll see if he will come later tonight. Um, otherwise, I'll see you again in the morning for the tour. Oh, by the way, we have to get up really early because um, the tour already starts at 7.45, so I'll probably go to bed soon. So yeah, talk to you tomorrow.